RPMs rise, throttle drops, green flag, and Kokomo. Kyle Larson immediately to the bottom side of the racetrack. Corday grabs the cushion, will lead down the back straightaway as they fan out into turn three and four. Larson tied on the cushion, lap one goes to Corey Day as we got trouble in turn three. Big pile up, three, four, five cars involved, and one just did a Tommy tip over. Back to green we go with Kokomo. Corey Day skims the infield, uses all the racetrack to clear Kyle Larson for the race lead. Day goes back to the top side right away through three and four. That's the place to be at that end. Corey Day leads lap one. Lap traffic already coming into play for the race leader, Corey Day. How will he handle this? Larson so good through lap traffic. Day's got to pick his poison perfectly. Oh, what a round in turn two. Yeah, spin right in front of the leaders here. Dylan Norris bring us back to green. Larson trying to get going in a hurry on the high side as Day slides up to the curve, hits that ledge. Here's the battle for the lead. Larson able to capitalize, goes to the bottom. Day does the Kokomo diamond move, drag race to the line. At the strike, give Larson that one by just a nose. Day tries to get back up to the top, but Larson rips around the outside. Move Young Money to the point. Here comes Justin Peck for second. Peck to the bottom, slatter on Corey Day. Corey Day back in front, or back to the second position. Cole Macedo is on the move. He just disposed of Kevin Thomas Jr. and is up to the fourth spot. Emerson Axon now the first lap car on the top side of the racetrack. Larson's going to have to figure out which way to go as Day goes oh. to the bottom, gets trapped. That's behind J.J. Hickle. Here comes Justin Peck for second. Peck was able to find a hole and slip through the cracks there. Day tries to turn back down the hill, but Peck may have just enough momentum, and he may trap Day on the bottom here. Corey gets stuck behind the lap car of J.J. Hickle. Justin Peck around his outside to the second spot with his sight set on the race leader, Kyle Larson. We've got 18 to go right here. Peck is close. All it's going to take is a mistake from Larson, and Peck will be right there, and he closes off four. Yeah, Larson now caught up behind Anthony Macri. Macri committed to the top. Larson makes the cushion. Peck to the bottom. Off of corner number two. It's still Kyle Larson, but Justin Peck's right there. And Cole Macedo watching and waiting. He is closing in on Kyle Larson on the high side, and Justin Peck on the bottom groove as they all funnel off a turn number four. Top three nearly nose to tail as they rip ride through one and two. Vintage lap traffic action at Kokomo Speedway. Kyle Larson still trying to get around Anthony Macri. Here comes Justin Peck. He's right up to the tail tank this time in a one. Where does he go? Lap cars to the bottom. He's got to wait for Larson to make a mistake on the treacherous top side of turns one and two. Now Larson goes to the bottom, jams it in on the low side of Anthony Macri. He slides up to the cushion, kills a little momentum, but Peck is there, but not able to capitalize. Yeah, Kyle quickly gets back to the top of turn two. He jumps the cushion a little bit. Peck loses some ground as well, as now Young Money trapped behind the lap car here. That is Veal there in the 17 AU. And here's Peck. He got to the left rear. Now Larson and go to the go to the bottom and try and slide Jamie Veal and dispose of Anthony Macri. He jumps the cushion, hits the wall. Here's Peck to the inside. Change for the lead. Justin Peck to the top spot as we come to nine laps to go. Justin Peck says thank you very much. Kyle Larson now quickly off into attack mode into turn one and two. Slider inbound. Justin Peck gets the momentum off corner two. He's your new leader. Yeah, that may be what he needs. You just need to get a gap sometimes and as hard as it is to be perfect, Peck with clean air and the decision making prowess to decide where he wants to go. That may be all the advantage he needs. Oh, he bobbles off two. Just as we say that, Larson is not close enough to challenge, but he closes in again. Coming down to seven laps to go. It's Justin Peck, Kyle Larson, then a little ways back to Corey Day, but the battle for the lead is where it's at here at Indiana's baddest bull ring as Kyle Larson tries to rally the 57 to get to the tail tank of Peck. Different approaches through one and off of turn two for both of the leaders. Peck is kind of trying to point it down the hill and miss the ledge. Larson's trying to cheat it now and slide up to it and get the car pointed that direction. It worked better for Peck right there. Five laps to go this time by. Peck a little squirrely off of turn four. Larson to the outside of the lapper. That's Chase Randall. He'll go through the middle. Battle for the lead. Kyle Larson can't get it done there as Peck pulls away down the back straightaway. They race down the back straightaway and into turn number three. White flag going to be out this time by for Justin Peck. Justin Peck leads at the white flag. Larson second. Rico Abreu from seven to third. He's looking for more as they go down the back straightaway for the final time. Peck's got to be perfect. Larson going to go to the bottom just to try something, but it's not going to be enough. Justin Peck, welcome back to Victory Lane. He wins the High Limit Sprint Car Series feature event at Kokomo. Kyle Larson second.